Hello and welcome to another special edition of the Father and Son Pastime Podcast. I'm Patrick. I'm Kevin. How are you? That's my dad and it's my dad's birthday. How are you, everybody? <laughs> I've had a wonderful day. First, guess his age in the comments below. Yes, please. Um, first time we ever recorded on your birthday, Dad. We've yeah. done a Father's Day episode. That was, I think, the Yankees all-time team. Uh, check, see if I'm right on that, fans at home. Uh, but we're doing a draft today, Dad. Something very special for our 31 subscribers currently on this day. Um, we appreciate you. Uh, we're going to change the draft a little bit. We got some feedback. We're going to make it a little bit more fair. It seems to be... Whoever drafts first <laughs> seems to always win the draft. Um, so, so even I'm just gonna keep talking. So even though there's two of us, we are gonna snake draft it. So if someone gets the first pick, the next person will get the second and the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and it's just gonna keep up that. So you, if you get the first pick, the next person gets to double double back and get their second and third pick. The reason why I didn't think it was unfair, because he keeps losing. No, in. I won one draft. One out of how many? I think this would be our fifth, so uh -huh. one for three. Product placement. Oh, yes. Speaking of that, uh, we just had Christmas. Uh, shout out to Dugout Mugs. We have custom mugs, finally. The Father and Son Pastime Podcast. Not available for sale just yet. Not in our merch section. Uh, but cheers, Dad. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you very much. But thank you, Dugout Mugs. Love these. Um, they're fantastic. Yes. Uh, he has a Cubs one, and I have a Red Sox one. Um, they're awesome. So yes. Big shout out to Dugout Mugs. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dad, this uh, draft today. Let's get to the draft. Let's talk about it. A uh, little bit of my brainchild. I'll take that around. I'll take that credit. Shameless plug for myself. You're uh, good at that. <laughs> Dad, I noticed, especially with the playoffs this year, there's a lot of young talent in yes. baseball. I look at the Blue Jays, especially. Um, but there's a lot of young talent in baseball across all teams. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to fully draft a 25-man roster of players under 25. So this is a 25 under 25 draft. It's going to be our longest draft ever. If fans at home remember, we always draft like a starting lineup. Maybe there's a pitcher, a DH, something like that. But that's it. So we're going deep bench, utility infielders, um, relief pitchers, closers, the works. Um, so we're going to fully draft a 25-person team. Uh, the only rules is they have to have some MLB service time. So if you're a big Adley Rushman fan, Bobby Witt fan, they're not eligible for this draft. We're recording this at the end of 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to be 25 or under. So really anyone born in 1996 or earlier. Uh, if you're born in 95, I'm sorry, you're too old. Uh, so we're looking at the young talent. Dad, I was talking to you this off air, but I really like the idea of we're drafting some future Hall of Famers oh, today. Yeah. There's some talented, talented folks in there. And um, when I did my research, it's amazing um, how young they are. A lot of it is out of international draft when they sign them at 16, 17, groom them for a few years, and boom, they're in the major leagues. Uh, Wander Franco is a great example of somebody who's very young that you know signed a 10-year contract. Mm -hmm. So they're locking these guys up for a while as well. So, um, yeah. Some really good players and bright future in MLB, and hopefully it'll draw younger fans. It'll be fun to rewatch this in 10, 15 years to see maybe some of the people who flame out um, and who are the people that maybe were like late drafts that, you know, maybe were the rookie year this year in 2021 yeah. um, and now are future Hall of Famers. So I think this will be a yeah. really good draft. I think it'll age really well. I'm excited to see in this crop of really 50, we'll each draft 25 people, our own teams, no doubling up, no one both gets. Um, Drew Rasmussen or something like that. I don't even know if he's eligible. It just wasn't first name to come to mind for the he's Rays. Eligible. Possibly. Who knows? Um, but just picked a random name. Um, so, yeah. So, who knows um, where we end up? I'm very excited to do it. Uh, Dad, without further ado, I'll let you, the birthday boy, draw the first card, and then I will draw second. You know it's going to be an ace. I think it's going to be a low card. He drafts a king, which is fine. I'm so used to losing at this point. I got a three. <laughs> I feel like it's always king and a three. All right. Dad, would you like the first overall pick, or would you like the second, third? First. All right. No no problem with me. Dad, the first overall pick in the 25 under 25 draft is? Vladimir Guerrero. Junior, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. That is fine. I should have brought a pen for people that are not eligible to me, uh, but I still have a highlighter for my picks. That's okay. Um, that's a great pick. Possible future Hall of Famer already. And he's my first baseman. I, I figured that. Yeah, I figured he's okay. going to be your starting first baseman. Yes. So I will sit on first base for a little while. I get second and third here. So I have to be a little um, selective where I want to go. 
I, I don't know if I want to immediately go to starters. There's some depth. I will take... For my starting right fielder, Juan Soto. Good choice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's a chalk pick, you know, real easy pick. Um, and I think I will go... You know what? I'm staying in the outfield. Ronald Acuna Jr. You got a junior, I'll take a junior. Yeah, that's great picks. So, I yeah, I went, uh, I went chalk. Okay. I get two next picks, correct? Yeah, just go over their ages again. Guerrero is only 22, Soto's 23, Acuna's 24. So it's kind of funny how we went in that mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. age. Uh, I'm going shortstop. Fernando Tatis. Great pick. And then you get another one. On a circle. Yes. And what I'm doing is getting my third baseman, Rafael Devers. Okay. That's great picks. Um, your team is stacked in the infield, mine's stacked in the outfield. Mm -hmm. um, just because I say this so much on this podcast, I think with my next pick, even though you just took a third baseman, I want to make sure you don't take him as a DH, but I'll take Young Thick, Austin Riley. Um, love him, Braves <laughs> fans, give me a follow, give me a mention. I have two Braves and a National so far. Your team is set for the future. Um, and then I don't need a shortstop just yet i can sit on him a little bit um i think i will draft my first pitcher i'm gonna go with the blue jays alec manoa uh, big fan of him think he's gonna really blow up and i think he's gonna fill the void of robbie ray from west virginia by the way that's awesome shout out to alec manoa yeah but just strong thrower dominant nothing but the future ahead for him okay Good enough. You okay with everything? You're, you're, uh, yeah. It's my turn. Your, your turn, yeah. I'm going for a very important second baseman, Jonathan India. Oh, yeah. Great pick. <laughs> so, right now, my infield is complete, by the way. My starting infield. Yeah, you went straight after your infield. I love the draft so far for you. Um, anything to say so far about some of your picks? Just really happy with who you got? First round Athletic, picks. Athletic, middle of the order. Right now, I got a lot of power. And uh, Tatis, I think, I mean, you can go anywhere from second to sixth in the lineup. But talking about somebody who has a bright, bright future, if he stays healthy, um, he's huge. Yeah. He's huge. And then I'm, I'm going to the outfield, and this is the guy I really like that has a bright, bright future. Out of the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Yeah, Kyle Tucker was on my list. I think he's fantastic. King doubles. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I think his he could be a perennial all, perennial all star. Yeah. Dad, good picks. Thank you. Great picks. Um, I'm gonna get him now uh, because again, I think I'm just going after the Braves' vote at this point. I'll take Ozzy Albie's as starting second baseman. Yeah, he was very, he's my next one. Um, so Ozzy's you know only 24 and already a champion. I mean, Austin Riley's 24 already a champion. I think there's a, a theme here. I'm just really impressed with the Braves' future. Um, yeah, really impressed. I think that was my fifth pick overall was Albies. So I'm on my sixth. I will take someone also in the Astros, Dad. I know this is a little strange, but I'm taking my DH early just because I think he's the next David Ortiz. Jordan Alvarez. Um, absolutely yeah. in love with Jordan Alvarez. I know he had a great CS, but a bad World Series. You're only going to get better with experience, Jordan. Um, so he's my DH. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I am going to go for an outfielder DH that will go back and forth. Uh, one of the worst trades the Cubs ever made. Eloy Jimenez, <laughs> Jimenez is going to be uh, either a left fielder or a DH. Yep. And then sticking with the Cubs' worst trades as a utility guy slash DH, Glaber Torres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was on my list too. Good pick, Stat. Thank you. I still need a first baseman. Um, I just need a catcher. I need pitchers. Um, you know who really impresses me, and he doesn't get talked enough because his team didn't go that far in the playoffs, was Logan Webb of the San Francisco Giants. Yeah. So I'm going Logan Webb. I think he's fantastic. He is 25, um, but he qualifies for the draft. Um, you know, you got some great hitters, but I'm going to try to just equal it, you out in pitching. Mm-hmm. 
A good pick? Yeah, it's a good pick. Um... Oh, I don't think I've taken my shorts up yet. I'll take Wander Franco. Yeah, he got, you know, he's, he's somebody that, you know, you're like... What 20 a, years old. What a star he's going to be. I can already say that he's going to be my youngest pick. I don't think there's anyone younger than him on the board. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to start going strategy here. You do it. Okay. Uh, center fielder, Luis Roberts. Luis Roberts. Of the White Sox. And my catcher is Tyler Stevenson of the Reds. Is he under 25? Yes, he is. That's go, awesome. Go check it no, out. No, no, no. I, I, I believe you. I know yeah. he got traded, or um, their original starter got traded for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Um, good picks, Dad. Good picks. So do we have... I can probably go back to... I love getting my starters. There's just so many good options. Um... Most wins in baseball this year, Julio Urias out of the yeah. Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, don't know why he didn't get some of the game one starts because I think he deserves it. Um, 25 years old. Um, good friends with my next pick, my starting left fielder. I know he kind of bounces around the outfit in Boston, but Alex Verdugo. Oh, he's on um, Doogie is just a fun guy with baseball. This will be my first guy that I definitely don't think will make the Hall of Fame one day. But he's really sociable and friendly and good with the fans. I think he's good for baseball. He's one of the few... I don't know if he's born in Mexico. I know he's Mexican descent. Um, but uh, you don't hear a lot of uh, Mexican baseball stars. Mexican baseball is starting to grow now. And mm-hmm. I think Alex Verdugo can certainly be the face of uh, that sort of growth. Cool. All right. I'm going for my backup catcher before you grab him. Luis Campesano of the Padres. Oh, Campesano. Yeah. So now I have two catchers. No problem. So I'm filling that in. And I'm going with a, a pitcher that has a lot of potential, Ian Anderson. Great, brave pick. Great, brave pick. Um, okay, then I'll be able to, I guess, draft, because you're not going to draft another catcher. Um, I will draft my first baseman, and granted, I'm not too happy about it, but Vladimir Guerrero was certainly my, my shock. I'll take Ryan Mountcastle, ah. who arguably should have been Rookie of the Year. Shit. Um, but uh, I, won't, I won't get into that right now. So I have a starter at every position except catcher. Got my DH, first base, second base, short, third, left center, right. Um, you're not really heavy into pitching yet. You took Ian, which is great. Uh, I'm going to go with Trevor Rogers um, out of Miami. He seems to just be the guy. Um, I don't think he'll always be a Marlin. Um but he's he had such a fantastic year. If he was on the Yankees, the Red Sox, that's a Cy Young candidate. Um, so Trevor Rogers uh, is my pick after. Okay. Well, Brian Mountcastle. I'm going for my closer before you grab him, Jordan Hicks. Great pick, flamethrower Jordan Hicks. He was not my number one choice in that category. Interesting. And then I need a couple of starters. Um, I'm going Casey Mize of the Tigers. I figured you like Casey a lot. Yep. All right. Good, good. I only have room for one more starter, which I didn't think was going to happen. Um, I'm between two, so I can actually sit on that for a little while. Um, I'm going to take um, another true rookie of the year candidate, arguably fantastic, Dylan Carlson. Ah, yeah. damn it. Who maybe maybe learn it's a starting right role and Juan Soto goes to left. I don't know. Um but Dylan Carlson is a great fourth choice. Was Dylan Carlson second in, in Rookie of the Year voting? Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. a great athlete. Yeah. Great athlete. Um, so I'll take him. Yeah, it's the Cardinals outfield is pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah. And I need, I need sort of a backup infielder at this point. And I don't know why he's not taken yet. I think he can play short. I think he could learn third. And hell, I think he can even play second. Bo Bichette. Mm, Again, yeah. Blue Jays, if I'm getting you, um, Blue Jays, Astros, Braves have just been the source of a lot of these these picks so far for me. Yeah, Astros are in there too. Miami's in there too. Okay. You're up, Kevo. A little pitching depth. Uh, starting pitcher, Mike Soroka of the Braves. Mm-hmm. Injured right now or recovering from injury, I guess is the best way to yeah, say that. Yeah, but he's got... So you're pro Braves right now. I We're both it. pro Braves. Go I Braves. love the Braves. Bravos. And then I'm getting my bench ready with Victor Robles. Oh, okay. Taking a little outfielder. 
Yeah, I, never, I have four outfielders right now. So, again, building my bench. Yeah, I have four outfielders too. I'm going to get one more. Um, I will... Again, I think I can sit a little bit longer on a starter. I will take... I'll take a swing man. He's very young. His name is Ryan Weathers out of San Diego. 21 years old. Um, they, I believe they tried him as a starter, and I believe they tried him as a reliever this year. I don't know what his future holds, but I think once the lockout ends, San Diego's going to trade a few people, and Ryan Weathers is going to be a star down in San Diego. Okay. I'm going And then to... hold on. That was I'm my, sorry. I, I, that was my Bye one bad. pick. Um, and then I will take my closer, the Guardians, Emmanuel Class A, who okay. is just as good. 23 years old. Okay. I'm going to take two pitchers. Tanner Houck, mm-hmm. Red Sox. Yep. Garrett Wicklock. Wow, Sox. both taking the Red Sox. Yep. I was thinking about doing that exact pick, and I was like, no, 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 I have no. time to wait. Well, nope. guess I don't have time to wait. <laughs> Get it when you see him, people. Lessons are learned today. All right, I'm just seeing it end up who I got. This is a good draft so far. You don't have a DH yet. Now you're just sitting on a person. Because I took um, Alvarez right. and Mountcastle, and you're like, I got nobody. Uh, I do have a DH. It's got to change some things around. But, yeah, I'm, I'm building my bench as we speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Um, I will take Genesis Cabrera out of the Cardinals. I think uh, he's a great reliever. Um, so that is reliever number three for me, if you include Emmanuel. And then I'm going to take a guy that just it, is following the path of Troy Talowitzki, Nolan Arenado, and Trevor Story. Brendan Rodgers out of the Colorado Rockies. Yeah. A guy that probably is a better second baseman but could play a little third. So him and Bo are my bench, which is insane because they're mm-hmm. all-stars. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm with you. All right. I'm going with uh, depth of my bench, Key Brian Hayes. Good for third base. And DH. Possibly, yeah. He's he's good, probably going to be... He's known for his glove now. His bat. That's right. And I'm taking a DH possibility, Trent Grisham. Oh, a center fielder. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that almost completes my... Star- I just probably I have all my 14 people I need for my, be- my uh, bench. So you started... So let me see how many picks we're at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18. Okay. But I know that you start, so I think you should have 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. Yep. All right. Yep. I'm going to take number 19 and 20. Uh, if you're a real follower of our international draft, he was my last pick. In the international draft, he won't be my last pick today. Jazz Chisholm. Oh, I like him. Uh, Bahamanian, playing second base. I like him a lot. Young guy, gets to learn from Ozzy Albies. I think that's an awesome combo. Brennan Rodgers, like I said, can play a little third. I think that's kind of where he'll be, and Bo Bichette will back up Wander Franco. Okay. Um, and then probably getting my fifth outfielder. I have great expectations for this guy. I don't know where the Angels are going to put him. Brandon Marsh. Um Truly, yeah. under the tutelage of Mike Trout, has yeah. a tremendous future. Okay. Um, so those are my outfielders. And from here, I think we're just going to get pitchers and catchers. Well, I'm going to take two pitchers. Okay. Dustin May. Okay. Sixto Sanchez. Totally fine. Sixto's a great pick. All right. I will go with um, a guy with deep playoff experience um, with really less than a year of real major league experience shane mcclanahan cool name i think he's also really great to interview i mean with one year of major league experience he talks like a true veteran so i'm doing shane mcclanahan for those following at home i have my starting rotation it is logan it's sorry alec manoa logan webb trevor rogers julio urias and shane mcclanahan i'm very happy with that five and then i will go with this guy is again another possible swing man i think he's going to be in the bullpen he gets to learn under Craig Kimbrell, possibly, um, or Liam Hendricks, but Garrett Crochet out of the Chicago White Sox organization. Okay. Big, highly rated prospect, got a little experience this year. Okay. 
I'm going next two picks, pitchers, Drew Rasmussen. Okay. And Tuki Toussaint. Is he still playing? Yeah. I just like the name. Yeah. Tuki, yeah, he's still playing. Where's he from? Do we know? He, one of the islands. I'm very curious. Where I just think that's a cool yeah, name. It is cool. I'm going to look that up real quick. Okay. Um, great picks, Dad. Um, I will, I'm just going to obviously go with my catchers here. Um, but I'm going to go with what everyone's thinking. Hopefully, you don't even have to be the next Buster Posey, but just a little bit. Josh Bart. Oh, good one. And then I think what could be a rookie of the year possibility is Kiebert Ruiz, the Nationals catcher. Yeah, from the um, Dodgers. Really happy with that. Um, Tuki is from, oh, he's American. Okay. That's just a cool name. Sorry, Tuki. Yeah. I thought you were, might be. Full name is Danny Tucson, so <laughs> not as interesting anymore. Yeah. Um, but cool name, but cool wherever you got Tuki from. How about that? Yeah. Um, what was your other pick? I thought it was a cool name, too. Maybe. Uh, that one was Drew Rasmussen. Oh, yeah. I just I just blanked on that because I heard of Tuki. Yeah, that's right. And I think this is your last pick, Dad. Is it? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, um, I have my last pick, but I think you do b- two more. Two more. I think you're at 23. Let me count how many pitchers. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two more pitchers. Shane Baz. Yep. Good pick, good pick. Has playoff experience ready. And then I'm going some something. This I have to have a cub on here. Cody Ewer that they got from the White Sox in the trade. He's a great relief pitcher. Um, White Sox gave up on him. He was the closer of the Cubs uh, last half of the year. So he's my last pick for the bullpen. Okay. Good picks all around, Dad. Good picks. A lot of similar research done here. Hmm. Um, I think I will go with just... I think the best way to describe him is just a flamethrower. Bruce Dahl Gratterall of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um I think if they don't resign Kenley Jansen, they could look to him as the next Kenley Jansen, as their there's their closer, mm-hmm. if not a setup guy. So that is the twenty five under twenty five draft. We actually did that in less than twenty five minutes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go. You know, I like to pick skull and back, boom, boom, boom. It was kind of fun. Yeah, it did speed things up. Yeah, um, Dad, let's look at do a little comparison um, for those kind of reacting as we were drafting through all that. Twenty five under twenty five. These guys are young. They're fast. They're yeah. quick, just like our draft. Yeah. Dad, let me hear your starting rotation. You know what? I think I'm going Soroka. Okay. Sixto Sanchez. Mm-hmm. Ian Anderson. Mm-hmm. Casey Mize. And then Tukey? Or is no. he a reliever? He's a reliever. Okay. And Shane Baz. Okay. It's very interesting that three to five of those guys have already been through surgery. Um, and I think Ian is your best pitcher. Ian Anderson. I agree. Um, Casey's coming back. Casey had a good year. I know, but I think he's been through surgery, right? He's been through... I don't know. I thought he's been through Tommy he, John. Correct me if I'm wrong. He was the number one overall pick... So I'm not sure if his uh, injury passed, but the Tigers have him as their like ace right now. Yeah. I don't think any of my guys have had surgery, although I haven't tracked these guys deep into their college years. Um, very happy with Alec Manoa. You know, I think i got to move up Julio Urias in the rotation, give him some credit. Um, Logan Webb, Trevor Rogers, and Shane McClanahan. i got got 100 wins right there. Feeling really good about my starting rotation. Your rotation is better than mine. Win! But my line is better than yours. Well, hold on. It's pitching, <laughs> pitching, you know, pitching and hitting a baseball. Um, what's your bullpen? What choose your? Did you go? How many people in the bullpen? Five, six, seven. I have six, I believe. Okay. Uh, Drew Rasmussen. Right, right. Cody Ewer, Jordan Hicks, Tanner Houck, Garrett Whitlock, and Tukey. And Tukey. So you did your six. Yep. Um, I think my uh, bullpen's better too. Uh, coming out as a swingman, Ryan Weathers. Uh, Garrett Crochet, um, Bruce Dahl Gratterall, Genesis Cabrera, and Emmanuel Classe. I think it's almost a... The, the, Vote at home. He's got an extra person, so I obviously... I think it's dead even. I think I got... I think your rotation's better. I think my bullpen is as good as yours. I think my bullpen's better. I think I got more speed. Jordan Hicks. Jordan, you again, Jordan and Tanner are great. I just don't think... I think Cody's a risk. All these guys are risk, technically. They could... Garrett Whitlock? He I, said, I said Whitlock and Hope. Okay. All right. But I just think that's your two big names. Well, I, and Garrett, I love Garrett, and as a Red Sox fan, I hope you continue. But it's tough, this this whole draft stuff, because we're looking at 
a one-year sample size for a lot of these players or a half a season. Yeah. Uh, catchers, Dad. I'm very in love with my catchers, but who do you have catching? Uh, Tyler Stevenson. Great year. Luis Capasano of the Padres. Who they'll probably be trade. Yeah, but right now he is one great catcher. Had a great minor leagues. He is most sought after a young catcher in the, in the biz. Josh Bart and Kiebert Ruiz. Don't know who's starting or who's backup. Ruiz, I like. I like Josh Bart, too. Even if you bat 270 and do decent at pitch framing. The Bart, Bart can do a little DH. I just need him a catcher. I know. I need, the Giants need him a catcher. They, they don't care about it. They'll get anyone else but DH. Yeah. He is their catcher. Uh, first base, you win. I'll give you to you there. I have Ryan Malcastle. You have Guerrero. Not even close. You know what? That could be a fun home run derby, though. It would. That would be they. They hit the ball. Yeah. Um, keep going around the horn. Second base, Dad. You have India. Yes. I have Albies. Tough. India's rookie of the year. Albies has great years yeah, and a World Series champion. Yeah. Who's your backup at second? Gleber. Yep. Gleber Torres. I have Jazz Chisholm. That's a pretty even second. That's an even yeah. position, in my opinion. Uh, shortstop, Dad. You have Tatis, Correct. and I have Wander Franco. Who's your backup? Uh, Torres again. Oh, so I have Bo Bichette as a backup. That's very good. So I might have a little edge as a um, a third base. You have Devers. And backup is Key Brian Hayes. I have Austin Riley with backup Brennan Rogers. I think Devers and Riley are really equal. Like, really, really mm-hmm. equal. Um, Key Brian is probably defensively better than Rogers, but Rogers is better offensively. Right now, my bench is looking damn good. So is mine. It's Again, it's a dead heat. It's, it's even. I don't think your offense so far is that much better than mine. Wait till you get the outfield. I I'm ready. Oh, go ahead. Go ready. Go, go ahead. Left field, Eloy Jimenez. Uh huh. Um, Lewis Roberts. Right. In you center. just got the White Sox. Kyle Tucker in right. Uh huh. Who's your Who's your bench out there? Trent Trent uh, Grissom. Uh huh. And Victor Robles. You got a bunch of center fielders. Uh, my center field star: Ronald Acuna Jr., yes, Juan good. Soto, Dylan Carlson, Alex Verdugo, and Brandon Marsh. That's pretty good. I think I got you. I think I won this draft. And then DH, who do you have DH? No DH? DH, I got a plethora of guys that go in and out. Do you have anyone better than Jordan Alvarez? You know what? That's no. a great question. Eloy will probably do more DH in left field, and then I can move guys around. So defensively, I think my outfield is pretty strong. He, Kyle Tucker? I love Kyle Tucker. I don't think he's better than Juan Soto. We'll see. Who's been in the MVP vote? I know. Who has not? Soto might be the top five player. I think Kyle Tucker's underrated. I'm not dissing Kyle Tucker. I'm just yeah. my pick's better than yours. Yeah. And plus, I have Dylan Carlson out there. He's my backup right fielder. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan. Big yeah. fan of his, by the way. I think Carlson and Tucker are similar, but I do think Soto's still that that cut above. Yeah. Same with Acuna and, and Robert. Um, I think you got a better, if you choose Eloy in left, a better left fielder than Marshall. I got some power. So do I. We all have power. We have 400 home runs on our team. Three, four, five is going to be hard to do. You got Guerrero. Maybe not 400 home runs. 250. Guerrero, Tatis, Eloy, and Devers as my th- two through f- uh, five. Great. That's pretty good. Mountcastle, <laughs> Alvarez, Austin Riley. All these, I think, th- hit 30 home runs. Um, Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna. I think Dylan mine, Carlson. I think all mine th- are more proven than yours. I don't think Mount so. Mountcastle may go down to dumpers next year. Your first baseman's better. You win that. Our catchers are largely equal because they're kind of unproven. Is that, I think that's fair right. to say. Tyler Camp- had a pretty good year. Campesano hasn't had a full season. Tyler, Tyler only picked up mid-year, I believe. Right, but he had a pretty nice year. So neither, no one has had a full season. Yeah. Jordan Alvarez is an ALCS MVP. I don't know. No one else on this page is an I'm, ALCS MVP. I'm a big fan. I don't think so, at least. Um, Austin Riley endeavors, I really do think, balance out. Tatis and Wanda Franco... On paper, Tatis looks better, but with Tatis's future injuries and not sure where he's going to play, even be a shortstop, Wander Franco has a 10-year contract saying, let's go be a shortstop. And he's 20. <laughs> it could be an 11-year contract, yeah. I'm sorry. And you got Boba Shett. I got Boba Shett as a backup. Um, I like Brennan Rodgers. I think he's an underrated player in this draft. I think he's going to be like a DJ LeMahieu. I like Jazz Chisholm, too. I like Jazz Chisholm, too. He's a backup. I know. Isn't that amazing? I know he's got. A I like Jonathan India. I, I, he was Ozzy Albies was my Rookie one. Of the year. India too. I love Jonathan India. Yeah. If the Reds can keep it together, that would be a great side of the infield. I'd love to see these two teams play in I real would, life. Yes. Can we get this? If MLB is listening, yeah. can we get the twenty five hundred twenty five yeah. exhibition game? Uh, would get, it comment below if you'd love to see that? Very high scoring game, by the way. Share this to MLB's social media. I'm thinking more like a. 14-11. I don't think it's that way. I think it's going to be a rather low... No one hit off McClanahan in the playoffs. Oh. Or Boz. Yeah, but... They my, gave up, what, three runs? Uh, that lineup. 
It's like murderer's row, the old Yankees. Well, let's talk about the players, Dad, that we didn't pick. Talk about the snubs of the 25 under 25. Yeah, I got a few. Andrew Vaughn. Uh, I thought about him. I didn't think he was a snub, but okay. Uh, Madrigal. Madrigal I had as a snub. Gavin Lux. Had a snub. Um, Jared Kalenic. Kalenic, yeah. Kalenic. The Mariners, yeah. Uh, those are my position players that didn't get picked. I'll add one position player, everything else um, that was picked or already talked about. Christian Pache, another brave. Yes, I have my second page. He's yeah. got a bright future. He does, except he kind of needs a lane. Um, I think it'd be great if the NL, or sorry, the DH gets the NL so they can move um, Duvall to a DH and put Pache really anywhere, maybe yeah. center, honestly. I think he's, he gets compared to Andrew Jones a lot, and if that's your comparison, big drop if we miss drop, uh, drafting him. Um, Josiah Gray for the Nationals mm-hmm. in pitching. Uh, Logan Gilbert, um, Freddie Peralta, some Brewers. Uh, Tristan McKenzie out of the, out of the Guardians. Uh, and then Luis Garcia out of the Astros. That was my, like, 26th man. I know there's yeah. 26 man rosters. It flows better being 25 under 25. Jaron Duran from the Red Sox. Largely unproven. Yeah, Yeah, but yeah. I like him. Yeah. He, I think he's going to be a nice player for the Red Sox. I hope so. A little bit of speed. Yeah. Yeah. I had Chris Paddock from the Padres. Has a bright future. All Once the Padres he, do. I know. Yeah, I mean, we could have gone... You know, probably five more players in each uh, squad. There's probably a third team out there, 25 under 25. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, comment below if we forgot one of your up-and-comers. Remember our rules. You have to have some MLB service time, some MLB played games. So, again, no Bobby Witt, no Adley Rushman. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you can see the future of MLB is in, like, five, six yeah. teams. Um, I thought that was really interesting. Watch out for the Braves. Watch out for the Astros. Watch out for the Blue Jays. Tampa Bay. Miami, if they keep shit together. Um, I think that's really important. A few Red Sox, which is surprising. Yeah. I mean, the, they, you know, these Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers are looked at as like old organizations that get talent, mm-hmm. not develop it. Red Sox develop talent pretty well. Um, and the Padres. Padres have uh, a few markers of, of future success. I agree. This was fun and uh, much quicker than I thought. Well, happy birthday, Dad. I think you lost your draft on your birthday, but, you know, I'll take this as a moral victory. Um, even if it was a draw, I still didn't let you win on your birthday. Uh, happy New Year, folks. This will probably be uploaded a few <laughs> days into the new year. Um, He's so kind, isn't he, folks? I am. Thank you. Please, again, this, we'll just shameless plug. Um, shout out to Doug at Mugs, of course, A. Um, Father and Son Pastime Podcast. We'll do a little clink. Not a, it's not glass, but it's still cool. You're drinking out of a wooden bat. Yeah. Um, give have us a, a healthy new year. Have a healthy new year. Hopefully, baseball is back in a full season in 2022. Yeah. Uh, and give us a like, comment, subscribe. Our social media is in the description below. Uh, but yeah, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're slowly growing YouTube yeah. subscribers, so people are listening. We appreciate that. And just share this on your social media too. Tag us. Let us know. And we appreciate and love every single one of you. So thank you for listening. Goodbye, everybody. Happy New Year.